Friends, we have the long-awaited video review of the best wireless video surveillance camera system. Here is the highest Wi-Fi transmission range of up to 400 meters in unobstructed conditions. Here is the best video recording quality of 8 megapixels 4K in the top configuration. And on the best available, K05 next generation CS sensor. So there won't be the typical problem where you buy an 8 MP 4K surveillance camera. But due to a poor sensor, it performs worse than cameras from the 90s. Here you will see a true 4K image if we are talking about the top modification. There is built-in artificial intelligence in each surveillance camera. The cameras can distinguish between simply moving objects, people and vehicles. The smart built-in night and color illumination here has modifications for both black and white and color shooting where the camera's spotlight turns on upon detecting a person or vehicle. Thanks to this, you can now see vehicle license plates at night. There is a common issue with regular black and white cameras where instead of the license plate you see a white canvas because all license plates in all countries are covered with fluorescent reflective paint. However, these cameras have technology that solves this problem. Additionally, with color night shooting, you will be able to see what color clothing a person is wearing and the color of the vehicle the intruder arrived in. This information is not available with regular cameras, but here is technology that allows you to obtain it. Each camera also has a built-in microphone with noise reduction, the legendary Aisen 801 microphone, which we have reviewed multiple times. There are built-in intelligent motion sensors that can be adjusted for sensitivity. There is a smartphone viewing function, free software for viewing archives, and a huge number of other features in these systems. This is the top option available in the world of wireless video surveillance as of now, the ready-made video surveillance system AISEN Air Pro Max EX of the new generation. This video will provide a detailed review of these systems, a thorough overview of all features. I will show how they connect, how to install the software on a smartphone, and how to manage this video surveillance system. Before we move on to the video review, I want to talk in general about the AISEN Air systems. These are ready-made sets of wireless video surveillance cameras produced by IISEN for over 10 years. And they are updated every three to four years. I want to talk about what has changed specifically in this update that was released at the end of 2024. What has changed here compared to the previous model? Firstly, the Wi-Fi transmission range. Previously it was up to 150 meters in unobstructed conditions. Now it is up to 400 meters in unobstructed conditions. Secondly, the quality of video recording. Previously it was a maximum of 5 MP in the top modification. Now it is already 8 MP 4K video recording. Plus, these legendary K05 sensors have been updated. Now it is already a new generation. They are even better in quality and detail than standard Sony sensors. So this is a premium sensor option in the world of video surveillance cameras. Previously there was no built-in audio recording here. There were connectors where you could separately connect a microphone which was inconvenient for many needed more complex installation, and it was necessary to provide moisture protection separately for the microphones. Here, there is already built-in audio recording in each camera. Also, of course, there was no artificial intelligence here. Now, surveillance cameras have learned to identify people, to identify vehicles, and to record based on movement, not just when the camera sees regular movement, and this created problems when it rains, when it snows, when for example there is a tree in the frame that moves from the wind. These cameras can already identify both people and vehicles. Also of course there was no such level of night illumination here that can work like a camera that is in black and white mode which can work like LED. That is when the lights are turned on and you see a color image plus there are different modes uh, including smart modes when the built-in spotlight turns on when it detects a person in the frame. These are the main changes. There have been a few other less significant changes. The design of the cameras has been slightly updated. Now let's see what is included in the standard package. So in the package we have two of these boxes. In this box we can see the modification for four cameras four cameras, mounting hardware for them, as well as power supplies. In this box, 
we see a wireless Wi-Fi video recorder as well as power supplies and instructions. After you take the entire surveillance system out of the box, don't forget to remove the protective films from each camera here. Before you start using your equipment, a separate advantage of the ISON AR Pro Max system is of course that it is fully adapted for installation by regular users. This means that if you didn't know what a surveillance system was yesterday, after watching this video tutorial, you will be able to install it yourself, without any problems. There is no need, as with regular Wi-Fi systems, to configure IP addresses or understand what a subnet mask is. All you need to do is plug the video recorder into the socket, connect all your cameras via HDMI to the monitor and that's it. Your recording will start automatically. So, let's talk about the modifications available for the ISON AR Pro Max surveillance systems. There are quite a few of them. All modifications come in sets for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8 cameras, meaning you can choose a surveillance system based on your expansion needs. For example, if you want to install two cameras initially and plan to add four more later, you can easily purchase a system for two cameras. The surveillance cameras in the ISON AR Pro Max systems feature all the latest technologies, including the Dedouble Impact technology, which improves image quality in poor or improper lighting conditions. I've often told you that buying a surveillance camera without this technology is essentially money wasted. Because wherever you place your surveillance camera, there will be several situations throughout the day when sunlight will hit the camera lens, or conversely when shadows will fall. And a regular surveillance camera without this technology will be useless in those moments because all the faces in the frame will be black, the car license plates will be black, and you won't be able to see anything. The WDR and DWDR technology solves this problem. Also make sure that the surveillance cameras you purchase have the original DWDR or WDR technology. Because now there are many cheap copies and fakes from AliExpress, where the description claims that such technology exists. In reality, it is implemented very poorly and essentially does not fulfill its purpose. Ison brand surveillance is of premium standard. Here of course the original WDR technologies are always built in. There is also 3DNR technology, which reduces the amount of noise, that is, graininess, in low light shooting conditions. As I mentioned, there are built-in motion sensors here that are intelligently adjustable for sensitivity. And there is built-in artificial intelligence here. This means that the cameras can distinguish between a person and in moving vehicles. This is done so that you can receive notifications on your smartphone and so that the cameras can record only the movement related to a person or a vehicle. Regular surveillance cameras have the problem of recording any movement. If it rains, that's movement. If it snows, that's movement too. If a cat or dog runs by, that's also movement. If a tree sways in the wind or a bush moves, that's again movement. The presence of artificial intelligence solves this problem. This means you will be able to receive notifications on your smartphone when there is movement of a person or a vehicle. Also, the LED backlight can be activated here, not just by movement, but specifically by the movement of a person or a vehicle. Each camera has a built-in microphone with its own noise reduction system. This is the highest quality 801 microphone among all available options at the current time. We have talked a lot about the sensor in these surveillance cameras. This is the K05 sensor from the Korean manufacturer Huawei. This sensor has been updated. Again, in these surveillance systems, it has become even better. This K05 SC is a new generation. In terms of video recording quality, they are already better than the original Sony matrices. Better in terms of detail and pixel clarity. And these are original matrices, no copies, no replicas, no fakes, of which there are many now. Equipment comes from AliExpress. The entire AliExpress is simply flooded with surveillance cameras, where it says that this is Sony, where it says that this is Amnivision, full hand. In reality, these are all copies and replicas. Therefore, when choosing equipment for yourself, look for the manufacturer that does not use copies, replicas or fakes, such as, for example, the Ison brand. Specifically, these cameras are equipped with premium quality matrices that provide them with true original 4K 8 megapixel recording at maximum speed. Maximum detail is often asked about net. If I don't have Wi-Fi or if I don't have internet at the site, can I install this surveillance system? These are absolutely unrelated things. The ISON Air Pro Max systems have their own Wi-Fi, meaning they operate independently of your Wi-Fi network and internet access is only required if you need the option for remote viewing from your smartphone. 
If you don't have internet, for example, if you have no signal reception or any network, the system can record to its hard drive and you will just approach your DVR or computer to set something up or to view the archive. Now I want to tell you about all the accessories that you might need along with this surveillance system. We are often asked, having decided to purchase the wireless ASON AIR Pro Max system for themselves, what else needs to be bought, I will tell you. Well, first of all, the basic package includes everything needed to plug it in and have a picture on the screen. A hard drive is also necessary for recording. That is, if you are not in a situation where you are upgrading your surveillance system and you already have a hard drive for surveillance, then you definitely need the package that includes a hard drive. Also, Regarding installation, if you are mounting the camera indoors, no additional protection is required. If you are mounting cameras outdoors, you need to consider protection for these connectors. For this, mounting bases for surveillance cameras are purchased. The ISON D290 and ISON D390 models have cheaper modifications with the Index E, D290 and D290E. The latter is a plastic option, but the metal option is still better. The D390E is quite good, despite being made in a more budget-friendly version than the D390. But the D390 is the top option in terms of quality and vandal resistance. If you mount the camera without these bases, there is a high probability that you will start having problems with the connectors in about a year. Moisture will get in there, and even if the camera is placed under a canopy, not in the open air, condensation will still form. Over time, the night illumination will start to malfunction, there will be flickering, then the night illumination will disappear, and eventually, the camera will simply fail. The warranty on the cameras is three years, and if the connector here corrodes, it is not a warranty case. Therefore, if you do not want warranty issues, it is necessary to purchase specialized bases for mounting surveillance cameras. The standard kit also includes internal power supplies. That is, these are the power supplies that you purchase and can connect indoors. If you plan to install the camera outside, you have two options. You can purchase an extension. Here, as we can see, is a small standard length. It is enough to pass through the wall, but not enough to lead further. You can purchase a special cable up to 5 meters long to extend the power length to supply the camera outside while the power supply is located inside. There is also a more professional option to buy outdoor specialized power supplies. We have reviewed these units on our channel. You simply connect the 2120V wire to the camera itself and the unit is placed near the camera. It has an IP56 protection class, meaning it is completely dust and moisture resistant. It can be installed outdoors and operates down to minus 60 degrees with no issues. The cameras themselves are universal. Outdoor models, they can be installed both indoors and outdoors. If installed outdoors, they are not afraid of snow or frost, operating down to minus 60 degrees, and work in any rain or snow. So, let me also provide some basic information. These are wireless surveillance cameras, meaning there is no wire between the camera and the recorder. Regular systems have wires, which often create additional problems during installation, especially if you have done renovations or simply do not want to run cables throughout your property. In that case, you can purchase wireless systems. Regular Wi-Fi systems have the problem of Wi-Fi signal interception, meaning you can buy a fairly popular antenna on AliExpress. And with the help of a simple program, you can not only jam the Wi-Fi signal on your cameras if you had a regular wireless system, but you can even intercept the signal. And this is the most frightening part, that is, an intruder can approach your home with this antenna, intercept the signal and view video from your cameras. They can see what is on your property, what time you leave home and so on, all the information. And professional systems, such as ISON AR Pro Max, have a special proprietary protection system against such interceptions. That is, it is extremely difficult to jam their Wi-Fi signal or intercept any data here. There is a built-in option, a built-in protection system, however, it has a downside. It does not work with any other Wi-Fi cameras. That is, only these cameras, model ISON GU 8000 Pro, are capable of working together with these DVRs within the ready-made ISON AR Pro X system. No other ISON cameras, nor cameras from other manufacturers can be connected here. This also needs to be taken into account. The ISON AR Pro Max system also supports cloud recording functionality. Let's talk about night shooting. Here it is as modern and cool as possible. There are several options for night shooting. 
It can be infrared, meaning black and white, and it is not visible to the human eye at all. It can be LED, meaning when the built-in light turns on. Thanks to this, you see more information. You see all information in color, including car numbers, the clothing color of the perpetrator, and the color of the perpetrator's vehicle. There is a combined option where you can operate in standard mode with regular lighting, and when a person or vehicle appears in the frame, the spotlight turns on. This is the most modern night lighting, working up to 30 meters, providing the best protection for your site that is currently possible in surveillance systems. Additionally, specialized monitors for surveillance systems are often purchased as accessories. They are also sold in our monitor section with all possible options available. Monitors are purchased for several reasons. Firstly, they are more reliable and durable compared to regular monitors because the classic installation of surveillance in a private home is when a monitor is hung near the entrance door and it works 24-7. Thus, you walk near the door and can always take a quick glance to see if everything is alright on your property. Who approached the gate? Who has arrived? At night, you can walk by and also take a quick glance to see if everything is calm on the property, if there are any outsiders, or if there is precipitation. For such tasks, a specialized monitor is installed, plus specialized monitors never conflict in terms of displaying the camera grid. That is, these standard grids when four cameras are on one screen, eight cameras on one screen, if such a grid is displayed on a regular TV or a regular monitor, there are often conflicts, um, that is, it is displayed somewhat crookedly, not in full screen. Sometimes this can be adjusted with the TV settings, sometimes it cannot. Specialized monitors for video surveillance solve this problem, and the quality of the video display, of course, is already designed for viewing modern 2K or 4K video surveillance. This will be a much better picture than if you connect via VGA to some old monitor or old TV. Now I will show you how easy it is to connect the ISON Air Pro X video surveillance system. All you need to do is take the system out of the box and plug it into the socket. For this, we take the power supply for the camera and connect it to the power socket. I repeat, there is an option to connect to outdoor power supplies. The principle is slightly different and the box will be a bit different if you order an outdoor unit. It is also recommended to hide this connector in the base for mounting the cameras. ISM D390 in a metal format is the most reliable. We simply cover the reset button with a cap as we won't need it and we connect the power to our video recorder. Note that it is important not to confuse the power supplies for the cameras and for the video recorder. The power supply for the video recorder is always 2 amps. Here are its specifications on the back of the recorder. We see, first of all, two antennas, a power socket, a USB socket to connect a mouse or flash drive to reset the information, LAN socket for connecting to the internet, VGA socket for connecting to old monitors. I do not recommend using this socket because you will be viewing in poor quality of 760 by 640 pixels. Always connect via HDMI. Here you can view in 2K or 4K resolution. Let's connect the mouse right away. It is also included in the package. We will view the video through a specialized monitor. It needs to be connected via an HDMI cable. The HDMI cable is not included with the system itself, but it always comes with the monitor. We connect it here. I also want to show you how to connect your video surveillance to the internet so that you can view the video remotely. All we need to do is connect a regular patch cord here to the RJ45 port, which is also known as the LAN port, to your router. I would like to reiterate that if you have 3G or 4G internet, you will need a specialized router with a USB modem connection capability and firmware for video surveillance. Here is the second port where we connect the video recorder. Now let's look at the monitor. Upon initial startup, we need to set the basic settings. Here we select the language and click next. Now we need to set the password and click next. Next, we need to set a security question and provide our email, then click next. Here we see the network settings of the video recorder itself. This information will only be needed if you are connecting the recorder directly to the network. Click next. Here, check the main information regarding the time. You can also set the basic settings, choosing either Full HD or 4K resolution. Click next. Right click here and a menu will appear at the bottom. Here we can set accordingly how many cameras we want to display. 
If your recorder like ours supports eight channels, there will be an option for up to eight. If you have a four channel recorder, there will be a one four option here. In playback mode, you can view the recorded video. Here on the left, you select the camera, choose the date and time. Here you will see from zero to 24 hours. This is the selected day on the chosen cameras. And here you will see when there is any movement. If your cameras are set to record on motion detection, we recommend setting all cameras to this mode at once because recording in emptiness makes no sense and it will be more convenient for you to review only those places, only those events on the timeline when there was any movement. Here, click back to return. In the search menu, we can also select a camera, choose an event, specify the time and find the event we want to save to the flash drive. First, you need to insert the flash drive into the USB port. Click backup to save the necessary information. Click the cross to return. In this menu item, you can set up notifications for motion sensor triggers on your smartphone in the form of push notifications. Or to your email, where everything is also quite easy to set up. Right click to return. Here you can adjust the sound display. Here, we enter the system settings. Here we select the camera we need. Right now, I have two cameras connected here, so the menu displays only two. Here is the model name, IP address, and you can change the resolution here as well. You can configure different display moments on the screen, specifying where to display the information. You can also remove the watermark, which is the display of the dash cam's name on the video itself. Here are the audio settings. By default, the microphones are turned on. Here are the settings for how the lights react, which is what I told you about. You can set it to only infrared mode, full color mode, meaning the camera will always record in color at night or intelligent mode. We recommend leaving it. Also, here are the motion sensor sensitivity settings. By default, the sensitivity is set to the middle. You can also set the activation zone for the motion sensor here. That is, so that the motion sensor does not react to the entire screen, but to a specific designated area. Press back to return. In the schedule settings, you can set different cameras to operate on different schedules. For example, on Monday and Tuesday, the camera records continuously, then based on the motion sensor, these are quite specific settings. Mostly, everyone simply sets all cameras to record based on motion detection, and that is enough. However, there is also this option if you need it. In this menu item, we can see all connected Wi-Fi cameras and view their settings. Here, I want to immediately tell you how to connect additional Wi-Fi cameras. This will be useful if you are purchasing a system for expansion and plan to connect more cameras in the future. This is done very simply. On the camera itself, there is a button, a reset button. It is located on the wiring. I have already shown it to you. Press and hold this button for three seconds. After that, press the plus sign here and this camera will be automatically added. Here you can see its settings. It shows that the camera is connected with a resolution of 8 MP 4K. The frame rate is indicated. You can also check the Wi-Fi signal strength here. The firmware version is also available. Here you can scroll to the right to see and display all the cameras that are connected to our video recorder. Here are the video recording settings. You also select the camera, you can set it up differently here, constantly for the motion detector day. Like this, everything can be changed and you can apply some specific settings to other cameras. There is a tab for the hard drive at the top, so when it is connected, it will be displayed here along with its capacity. Here are the network settings, which are also required for some specialized tasks for connecting to the network. In the advanced settings, there are also additional network configurations. And here are the system settings, which are the same as what we have already seen, right here. Display resolution, here are the language settings. Cursor speed, here are the time settings. And here are the account settings. You can create different accounts to easily view who accessed the system and what they did. Here you can uncheck the notifications meaning the system will by default alert us when one of these events occurs, such as a hard drive error. Here is the information about the DVR. Itself, it will also be useful for setting up remote viewing. 
That is, you can download the app using this QR code and accordingly download the app. This is the serial number of the DVR itself. Here is information on maintaining the DVR, for example, updating the software or resetting the information. Again, keep in mind that if you reset the information, you will lose all cameras and will need to set them up again. Only change something here if you understand why you are doing it. Now I will show you how to install and set up the application on your smartphone for remote viewing. The instructions are absolutely the same for all Apple devices, meaning on iPhone 10, 15, 16, it's all exactly the same, as well as for all Google devices and all Android devices. It's all absolutely the same. Download the app through the App Store or Google Market called BitVision. You enter the BitVision app, click on the three lines in the top left, here, click on Login. Now, click on First, Login. And here you click on the Registration button. Complete the registration. It's a fairly simple registration. You need to provide your email, password, nothing to worry about. I am already registered. After you have registered, click on the login button. Click on the three lines again. Go to the device manager. And here in the bottom right, you click on the plus sign. Three options are offered for how to add your video recorder. The simplest option is to click the bottom item, LAN search. This means that a network search will be performed automatically. Here, my video recorder is displayed immediately. I click on it. Here we need to enter the device name. You can specify something arbitrary, for example, home. The username is always admin, in lowercase. And the password. Here, enter the one you specified during initial registration, that is, the password. From your video recorder, I see the camera display. And let's go through the main settings. I can double click on the camera to display four cameras at once. Similarly, set up all the cameras connected to your video recorder. I can rotate the phone 90 degrees to display the camera in full screen. I can pinch to zoom in on the image for software zoom, rotating the phone back. There are also quick buttons below the screen. The first is to take a screenshot. The second is to record video online right now. Next, this button allows you to listen to the audio from the surveillance camera. The following button displays a certain number of cameras you want to show at once. I will leave it at one for now. The BD button is for switching modes. Right now we clicked on HD and can see how the quality has changed, meaning we are viewing in maximum quality and can see how clear the image has become. By default, BD is set for traffic saving. So you see the situation and understand what is happening. If you want to view this moment in maximum detail, you click on HD. Below, there are also playback, close and share buttons. I will show you the main feature that you will use which is viewing. Click on the three lines in the top left and here select playback. Here you also select the camera that will be connected and at the bottom a bar will appear and you simply swipe with your finger to choose the event you want to view. For example you see that yesterday at um there was some movement at one o'clock in the morning and you just swipe your finger here and automatic playback starts. That is in this way you can not only view the image online from your phone but also see what happened. You can quickly send this information to your phone to take it to law enforcement or do something else with this information.